Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, let's talk about Vmax and Km of an enzymatic reaction. As substrate concentration increases, the initial rate of reaction also increases. This is because there is a higher possibility of efficient collision when there are more substrate molecules available. The rate of reaction increases until the active sites of enzymes are saturated. This is when every enzyme active site is working continuously. The graph levels off. From this point onwards, substrate concentration becomes the limiting factor. This is when the Vmax is achieved. Vmax is the maximum velocity. It is the rate of reaction when the enzyme is saturated with substrate. In other words, this is the maximum rate of reaction an enzyme can achieve when there is an infinitely large amount of substrate available. Km, or the michaelis menten constant, is the concentration of substrate which permits the enzyme to achieve half of its Vmax. It is when half the active sites of the enzyme are occupied by the substrate. Km shows the affinity of an enzyme for its substrate. Affinity is the tendency of the enzyme to bind to its substrate. Here in this graph, we have two enzymes with the same Vmax but different Km. A has a higher Km compared to B. An enzyme with a higher Km has a lower affinity for its substrate. It requires a greater concentration of the substrate to achieve the Vmax. On the other hand, an enzyme with a lower Km has a higher affinity for its substrate, which means that it does not require a very high concentration of the substrate to achieve its Vmax. In short, the higher the affinity, the lower the Km value would be, and the quicker the reaction will proceed to its maximum rate of reaction. Theoretically, when you repeat an experiment by using different substrate concentrations and plot the graph of the initial rate of reaction against each of the substrate concentration, you would be able to find the Vmax and hence the Km of an enzyme. However, in reality, Vmax cannot be accurately read off from a velocity against substrate concentration graph. This is because the curve never completely flattens out in practice. In theory, it does so at infinite subject concentration. In reality, it is not possible to measure this concentration. So, in practice, a double reciprocal plot is needed to find the accurate Vmax and Km. It is done by plotting 1 over velocity against 1 over subject concentration. For example, this is the data you have. When you use them to plot a graph, it should look like this. Notice that the graph has not leveled off even at the higher substrate concentration. So, it is not possible to know the Vmax and Km by using this graph. Now, convert all the data points into 1 over the values. Then, plot the graph again. You have now produced a double reciprocal plot. Make the best fit line from the plots. Then, extrapolate the line, so it touches both the y and the x axis. In this new graph, the point where the line intersects with the y axis is 1 over Vmax. Vmax can be calculated by using that point. In this case, the coordinate of this point is 0 and 0 0.9. 1 over Vmax is equal to 0 0.9, so Vmax is 1.11. The other point where the line of the graph intersects with the x-axis is negative 1 over km. Again, km can now be calculated. In this example, the coordinate of this point is negative 1.2 and 0. Negative 1 over km is negative 1.2. So km is equal to 0 0.83. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.